are boondocking at a location in Canton, Texas that we found on a website called Boondockers Welcome. And this is an amazing place. It's a small farm. It's really laid back, country atmosphere, very few people, very little traffic. I mean, this is our kind of place. And I think that we're gonna have the opportunity today to ride some horses. Back there in that pen somewhere are a few horses that the uh, that belong to the owner here. And we have never ridden horses. Uh, neither myself, nor Tambi, nor Molly. Never ridden horses. We've always wanted to, so this is going to be a new experience for us, for sure. To be quite honest, I'm a little nervous. So this is Roni and James. James is the handsome one. <laughs> Roni is the hairy one. I don't know, that might still be confusing. James just said that mares, the female horses, are fickle. They are, they're moody. Huh. One day they'll do great, the next day they'll give you nothing but problems. Is that right? Yep. Moody and fickle, those mares are. All right, we are here at Colfax Acres. This is Roni here. We have Sharla back there in the stylish hat, Hello. Molly and Tamby, and James. <laughs> He's the horse that will just bring me home. But that doesn't mean that there's something out there that isn't gonna kinda spook him. Yeah, with us being complete newbies at this and mm -hmm. you just telling us that the horse, you know, could spook there's no way of being able to predict it what is the likelihood of us getting through this experience today without having to go to the hospital it's upwards 80 90 percent oh okay yeah. that's great yeah i do it up kind of where his mane is and i move it down and it goes with with the fur huh? yep with the fur so hmm. when you put the saddle on and you tighten it there's not going to be any kind of irritation and stuff like that fur isn't the right word is it yeah sure yeah they're they're Oh, furry. Okay. They're furry. <laughs> Are they yeah, furry they're like furry. James? They're yeah. furry. So Charlotte's taking us into the round pen. And from what I understand, it is round because the horse is unable to pick up maximum speed <laughs> in this small space. That's exactly, that is, that's science. <laughs> that, that's, uh, that's cowboy science. Cowboy science. I like it. Oh, did you get your helmet on? Okay, come back. Just keep a straight face with your cigarette in your mouth. That's right. <laughs> That's right. It's just Molly, Sharla, and Roni inside the round pen now. Our daughter's life is in the hands of Sharla. Oh no. I think she's safe. Yeah, I think so too.
Is there anything you would like to say at the end of our our day here? Um, well, this was a great experience for me as well. Um, I'm just excited that y'all had a great first riding experience and mm -hmm. I'm glad y'all had fun and uh, Roni was a, a gentleman, of course. Oh and man, he is he is the horse of all horses. Yep, and um, yeah, it's just great that nobody got hurt and everybody had fun and it was a positive first experience. So I'm glad I got to check one of those things off his list of things. Thanks for taking care of us. You're so very welcome. <laughs> I was, I was only a little nervous. Thank you, too. You're welcome. <laughs> Just an amazing day here at Colfax Acres in Canton, Tennessee, with good old Roni back there. That was the first horseback riding experience for both myself, Tambi, and Molly very very cool now what was really interesting is that just three days ago uh, we all sat down and made just kind of this brainstorming list of all kinds of interesting activities that we might want to do while we're out here traveling around in the RV and horseback riding was on that list so we've already checked off something very very cool off of our activity list so we've got Roni to thank for this one thanks Roni well, it is a new day. We are still at the same location here at Colfax Acres. And I wanted to say that I realize that watching us go around in a circle on horses may not be the most interesting thing. While it was very interesting to us because it was so new, probably not that exciting to watch. And I want to make that up to you. So today we're going to go lick a building made out of salt. It's going to be amazing. Just wait and see. Well, after about 20 minutes of driving from the small town of Canton, Texas, we now find ourselves in the slightly larger town of Grand Saline, Texas, at the Salt Palace. Honestly, I really don't know what the big deal is about this place. I mean, there's a huge block of salt there. Tamby wanted to come here. So let's get some more information from her as she seems to be the expert on this particular destination. Tamby, what do we have going on here? Um, it, I believe that it is the world's largest building made of rock salt. Oh yeah? So is this the wall here that you're going to be licking? <laughs> oh, oh my lord, what's wrong with you? Did you already lick it? No, I haven't licked it yet. <laughs> oh. Oh, okay. I don't want to lick where someone else has licked. Well, Tammy, I'm afraid that every square inch of this wall has probably been licked by somebody at some point. Now, we didn't come here for you to chicken out on licking this wall. Stick your tongue out. Now, turn 90 degrees to your right. I need a good spot. All right, that one looks pretty good. That one looks pretty good. This one has this small protuberance here. Yeah, that one's gross. I think that would be the spot you need to do right there, Tammy. No. Tammy, come on. Pucker up and lick that protuberance. <laughs> lick that salty protuberance. <laughs> I find a nice spot right here, I think. Yeah, that, that does look like a shiny one. The, the thing is, Tammy, is that so shiny because there have Everyone been an absence of it? licks there or an abundance of licks? I don't know. I'm gonna lick the wall. Okay, all right. Let me, Are you gonna lick the wall? Yeah, I don't worry about me. Here, this is all you. You ready? All right, I think I have the close up ready now. Now, now stand by. You gotta look. Okay, let it linger for a second. Can you taste <laughs> oh, the yeah. saline? That's salty. Yeah. Okay, give it a good solid no, I'm full good. I tongue lick. It. I'm good. Can't, Tammy. I'm not gonna get the coronavirus from licking the salt wall. Tammy, I, I'm pretty sure that with this being a saline wall, it's uh, you know sanitary. All right, Molly, you're up. Are you licking this wall? No. Okay, listen, you're not I'm. I'm lick it. I licked it. Don't, don't even argue with her, Tammy. She's the one that's intelligent here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Molly has decided she's going to lick a rock. All right, go for it. Oh, oh wow. You didn't even hesitate. So fast. My goodness, I wasn't even ready for that. <laughs> Sorry, the audio is super duper sucky around here. For that matter, I'm sorry the video is super duper sucky. <laughs> uh, what do you expect? It's a, it's a place where you lick a salt wall. 
No, oh, it's locked. You got the keys? No, no, I got the keys. Well, I hope in some way watching us lick that wall of salt enhanced this video for you. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like, a comment, and consider subscribing to our channel. If you think the video blows, you just, you just smash that like button. You go down there in the comment section, you just tell us how you really feel. And then you go over to that subscribe button and just smash it. Just smash that subscribe button. <laughs> yeah, all right. Oh, jeez. See you next time.